Hello and welcome to another video about PS Assets. In this really short video I'm going to show you how to add an asset very quickly using the PS Assets app on your device. So the first thing to do is go into PS Assets and then once in there the first thing you always do is tap sync and sync your data. This ensures that you're using the very latest database of information. So then we're going to return to the scan tab we're going to tap on scan a QR code and then we're going to scan the QR code on the back of this phone like that. We then need to pop in a name for the asset and I would always say it's a good idea to say what it is, uh, the make and the model if that's available and then we're going to change the status from whatever it defaults back to to booked out on loan. I'm going to change the type of asset that this is in this case it's standard asset, it's IT equipment and there isn't a specific category for this asset but on my database I generally drop things like this into IT equipment other and this then presents me with a list of questions. So then I would go through and fill in the information for the asset owner. So in this case we're going to say this belongs to Natalie Brooks the disposal date, disposal method, and disposal, disposal reason don't apply currently. And as we've just purchased this, we'd expect it reasonably to last for two years. The make is LG, the model is G3, the purchase date was today, it was £249.99. The serial number, whilst I can't actually see it, let's make one up. The department that this belongs to is the IT Support Help Desk and its location is already pre-selected because that was the last asset that I did but in this case we're going to say it's no fixed location or mobile. So if you don't have a, a location called something like that it's a good idea to do so because if an auditor was to come and ask where this mobile phone was you could point to the location being that it's a mobile asset, it could be anywhere in the school. Uh, the last thing to do then is go to media at the top right hand corner and we're going to add a photo of the front of the device and while we're at it we may add a photo of the back as well and that's saved. The last thing to do then is tap on save and then once we're finished back to sync and then sync your data again. And once that's synced the asset is then synced up to the main uh, backend website database and that's all we need to do. So thanks very much for watching this very short video I hope you found it useful um, if you do have any questions or problems you can give our help desk a call on 0114 225 0301. Thank you.